Hi, welcome to another video. So, we need to talk about a problem that is absolutely plaguing the AI coding space right now. If you spend any time on Twitter, LinkedIn, or Product Hunt, you have seen the complaints about AI slop. We are entering an era where every new SayAS app, every new landing page, looks exactly the same. They all have those same blocky layouts, the same generic interfont, the same safe spacing, and, let's be honest, we really need to put an end to the ugly purple gradient era. It's getting to the point where you can visit a website and tell instantly, within milliseconds, if it was built by an AI agent, because they all default to the statistical average of design. They regress to the mean. But today, I want to show you how to break out of that loop using Combi. I've covered Combi before, but their latest updates are shifting the focus significantly. It's not just about generating code anymore. It's about having the ability to steer the agents towards unique, beautiful UI and giving the agent the capability to actually bring that unique vision to life without getting confused. It's the difference between accepting the default output, which is usually mediocre, and acting as a creative director who demands excellence. So, let me walk you through a detailed workflow to show you exactly how this works in action and how we can build something that actually stands out from the crowd. To start, I have a blank project in VS Code. I want to build a landing page for a high-end, brutalist-style architecture firm. This is a design style that AI agents usually struggle with massively because it relies on strange negative space, overlapping elements, and bold typography, not the standard bootstrap or tailwind grids that the models have seen a billion times in their training data. First, I'm going to use the plan mode to get our bearings. In previous tools, or even earlier versions of this tool, you would just prompt, make a landing page, and pray. The AI would hallucinate a bunch of code, and you'd spend the next hour fixing the layout. But here, I'm going to type, create a landing page with a massive, screen-filling typography hero section, an offset image grid for projects that breaks the grid, and a stark black and white theme. No gradients. Now, watch this. Instead of just writing code immediately, come by enters plan mode. It generates a lo-fi mock-up right here in the chat interface. This is crucial. I can see the wireframe. I can see that it understood offset grid and massive typography before it commits to a code structure. It outlines the component hierarchy, header, hero, project grid, footer. It gives me a visual plan before a single line of React is written. Let's say the wireframe looks a bit too standard. I can tell it right here. No, make the hero text larger and overlap the first image. It updates the plan. Once this lo-fi sketch matches my vision, I hit Approve. The agent then turns that lo-fi sketch into real, functional code. And because it planned it first, the layout structure, the divs, the flex boxes, the grids, is actually correct. It's not just a hallucination, it's an architectural blueprint. But now, we have the structure. Let's make it look unique. We need to get away from the standard UI library look. This is where we use the resource library. I don't want a generic carousel. I want something that feels premium and fluid. I click the Resource Library button in the plugin. I can browse through high-quality, modern UI libraries, things built on Shadson, Framer Motion, GSAP, and Aciternity. I see a specific parallax scroll component that looks amazing. It has that smooth inertia that makes a site feel expensive. In a normal workflow, I would have to go find the documentation, install the dependencies, configure the Tailwind config, and copy-paste the code, hoping I didn't miss a bracket. Here, I just tell Combi, 
Use this parallax scroll component from the library for the project section. Replace the standard grid with this. Combi pulls in the component. It analyzes my existing code base to see how I'm handling styling. It adapts the component to my specific tailwind configuration, ensuring the colors match my stark black and white theme, and implements it. Now my offset grid isn't just static. It flows beautifully when I scroll. It feels engineered, not just generated. Now for the final touch. This is the steering part that makes this workflow so powerful. I saw a really cool navigation interaction on a completely different website. Let's say it's an award-winning portfolio site from Awards. I'm going to use the browser integration. I open that target website right here inside Combi's internal browser. I use the selection tool, which feels a lot like the Chrome inspector, to highlight their navigation bar. I tell the agent, look at this navigation interaction. I want to adapt this behavior. How the menu slides in from the left and blurs the background, but apply it to my black and white theme. Don't copy the colors, just the mechanics. This is the key. I am not asking the AI to be creative from a vacuum, which results in purple gradients. I am giving it a specific, high-quality reference and telling it to adapt it. The agent reads the DOM of the reference site, understands the animation logic, maybe it's a CSS transition, and implements a version of it in my app that fits my stack. So, let's zoom out for a second and talk about why this matters in the current landscape. We are seeing a trend where foundational models, GPT-4, Claude 3.5, Llama, are being trained on so much synthetic data and so much average web content that they are starting to converge. They are pumping out samey. AI slop at scale because they are aiming for the statistical average of what a landing page looks like. They play it safe. If you just prompt, make me a website, you are going to get that average. You are going to get the generic output. And your product will look like a template. The workflow I just showed you with Combi is different because it puts you back in the driver's seat. You aren't accepting the generic output. You are using plan mode to define the structure and break the standard grid. You are using the resource library to inject high-quality, complex components that the model wouldn't generate on its own. You are using the browser to steal or borrow great interactions from the best designers on the web. You are acting as the architect or the creative director. And Combi is the highly skilled builder that is capable enough to follow your specific, unique instructions without reverting to the mean. This is how we move past the era of generic AI wrappers and start building things that actually look and feel human-crafted, unique, and valuable. You can utilize Combi's unique front-end skills, powerful browser use, and a dev-like understanding of designs and code bases to build the most complex and beautiful user experiences. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.